Now, this is a very interesting superstar, Ilya Dragunov, the so-called Mad Russian, who first made his name in NXT UK. Interesting is one word for it. Dragunov's basically a living embodiment of intensity. He subscribes to the philosophy of Unbi Ziegbar, which basically means once he gets going, he considers himself invincible. That philosophy definitely makes him a formidable opponent. The key is, can Dragunov control that intensity and maintain it for the duration of the match? And then we've got the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, a true student in the art of combat. McDonough studied hard to become a gifted technician and has trained his body into a living weapon. He's also a nice cold sadist. The way McDonough smiles after taking a big hit or how he stares at his competition like they're a piece of meat, it's just downright frightening. What do we need to see from J.D. McDonough if he wants to come out on top in this match? We need to see McDonough putting his extensive knowledge of human anatomy to good use in systematically dissecting his opponent. McDonough has a rare talent for torturing the competition. The more he uses it, the better for him. Lands in the drop zone. That hit wiped the sadistic smile off McDonough's face. <laughs> and that right there is the intensity of Ilya Dragunov at work. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Senton connects. Flipping Senton, that was nice. And shoulders are down. Two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. This could be a tipping point in this match. Top rope, here we go. Up high. Cross body from the top. Goes into the pin. There's two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Oh, gripping the jaw! My goodness! That's insulting. And Dragunov has earned the upper hand here. Everything's in Dragunov's favor now. From way up. Whoa! Look out! Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. An elbow will break that up. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Hurricanrana. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. What is he doing here? Oh, no, get down from there. Get down from there. You don't have to do this. Hooked in. You're a doggy. The announce table was just absolutely decimated. That's how much this match means to them. Nothing and no one is safe. What a hard-fought victory for this guy. He certainly earned it. Wait a second. He... Well, how about going to celebrate? This is uncalled for. This is ridiculous. Hey, you won the match. Isn't that enough? This issue was so deeply personal. This is just insult to injury.